Um, when looking at a problem like this, guys, we, this one's very similar to what we do when we were dealing with our exponents. And remember, if we had you know, 2 cubed equals 2 to the x, we figured out that, oh, well, it doesn't matter what your bases are. We know that 3 has to equal x. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the exact same thing. When you have a logarithm set up with another logarithm, because we can rewrite these in, in, in exponential form, right? Each one of our logarithms, we can rewrite in exponential form. So what we notice is when we have the log equal to another log, when they have the exact same base, just like these have to have the same base of the exponent, when these have the exact same base, we're left with x squared minus 4 equals 3x. Then, doing exactly what Demetri said last time, we need to now set this equal to 0. So I subtract the 3x on both sides. And now I have x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Now, this one's not as simple as factoring the x like the last problem, right? Now we need to say, all right, we know a couple ways. We could factor it, right? See if we can factor it our traditional method. We could complete the square. We could use quadratic formula. We could graph it. We could do many, yes. So we look at this and we say, can this though be factored? In our, yes. Yeah. You could look at this and say, all right, well, actually, I can factor this to x minus um, 4 and x plus 1. Right? And then once you have it factored, now you can apply the zero product property, which says x minus 4 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, my two solutions are x equals 4 and x equals negative 1. Any questions? No? Good? What if it doesn't have the same base? They have the same base and you can't do it. Do you have any problems on there that have, don't have the same base? No, I'm just wondering. Okay. You will always have the same base.